We're here in Austin, Texas. I'm Mahesh. We're here at the League of Rebels. This is Randy, and today we're going to give him a haircut and a beard trim. You know, I've worn a beard for 42 years. Okay. Okay, but it's always been short. Tape it yeah, and so yeah. this is the first time I've ever let it grow. Okay. This was a this was kind of a uh, dare. Uh, my wife and daughter said, "Okay, you know, let's let's see what you got." Okay. And uh, so this started in the sense of, uh, um, you know, started in November. Okay. And uh, you know the all this information about the neck beard thing. Yeah. I think we need to lose it. That my 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 sense is that what happens is, Randy is because this is lower down on your face. Right and it will grow at the same rate as everything else. So it will always look much longer. Okay. And then it sort of hangs down and then what this it makes this look short. Right. So at the moment all the emphasis is underneath. So when we look in the mirror what we do is we take that away. There you go. And it just you know you, you create a completely different shape. Yep. I mean, how do you feel about keeping the hairline natural? Do you want to keep everything a more natural looking rather than really contoured and Nor normally the hair would also be like at a two guard okay all over all, all over it was okay and so just easy convenient that right. kind of thing uh but i brought a couple photos maybe that's it that's a look, that's um, a look. sort of the king george the right. fifth yeah this is definitely a good look this is this will suit your beard as well okay these yeah. these are too long yeah you know this is kind of too long for what i need but uh kind of that mm -hmm. do you want to keep some of the hair well yeah i'm uh, open i'm open to suggestions yeah what i'm thinking is, is uh, you know you, you you know you've you've grown this out a little bit so it might be nice to go in with a two yep but you know keep some of the hair on top so you've got that balance of shape okay um that would be nice so you know have a slightly different haircut and the beard trim will look slightly different as well so it all all in all it will look quite different for you really but it will look everything will look it will look groomed but natural okay i don't want you to look i don't want you to look really sharp and hard right because i don't get that as a i don't get that from you as a sensibility as a, as a person right right okay right so like if you were really brash and full-on and, and yeah, i would be yeah, like yeah. Let's, let's do that because it's really angled and sharp but I don't get that from you as a person. I agree. You know, I agree. You, you come across much more um, mature and sensible and softer and more more, right. more approachable. Good. So I want you to still look approachable. Okay. Um, and you've got a great style, so I want it to keep in with that. Perfect. Okay. That sounds like a deal. Let's do this then. Okay, cool. So we'll start with the hair and then we'll work down to the beard, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the heel of the clipper just taking around Randy's ear. And we're going in with a two. Now Randy previously has had it like just a two all over. I think that's a bit harsh. So we're, we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna just change it up a little bit. We're gonna leave a little bit of length through this top section. Well, my truth be known, my daughter thought I should uh monetize this as Santa Claus somehow. <laughs> well, I, I know somebody who's a professional Father Christmas in the UK, yeah. Uh -huh. And you know, he's registered and all that sort of thing. You've got to have your checks, you know, with your, because you're also working with children and stuff. And, right, right. And he, he works up in the city in London okay. and he'll work for companies like Saatchi and Saatchi and people like that. Right, right. And he does all their Christmas parties and you know, he'll get like a thousand pounds for, sure. for like two hours work. <laughs> But where I live, the, uh, the, main, the main street where I live, mm -hmm. the main road, um, there's a church there and they have a, a Christmas, turn, Christmas light turn on every year. Right. So for the last two years, I've been Father Christmas for them. Oh, cool. Yeah, I have to cover up all the tattoos, but it's all for charity, you know? Mm -hmm. this, is my, this is my first trip to America, so I've never been here before. No, no, it's my first ever. It's taken me 42 years to get here. Interesting. I didn't realize that at all. 
Yeah, I appreciate you flying here. Well, I appreciate <laughs> having something to uh, fly in for. <laughs> it's great that the brand guys were like, okay, let's get you out here and let's, let's have some fun. We're uh, tapering Randy's beard in just slightly now. Just connecting it to the haircut. Um, have to be really careful not to get that line in there too much, you know, unless you're really looking for a hard shape. And because I'm looking for a softer look from Randy's beard and hair, I want it all just to blend in and be really gradual. Coming in, just taking that corner away. And we talked about the underbeard, didn't we, Randy, about that's actually a bit of a pain for you, isn't it? Really, it's, it's, not, it's sort of it sort of changed the shape of the of your face, isn't it? Completely. Yes, yes. So this is something that we were addressing today. So just moving around the haircut, making sure that back and the sides blend with the top. And like I say before, you know, Randy's been used to just sort of clippering it all over, which is which is fine, but. It can look a little bit strong. So I just want to make it look more of a style, a bit more of an intentional look. I know it's always easy to have just clip it all over, but I think this has a, a nicer look to it. I feel you've been really modest about what you're talking about. So you, you didn't actually really tell me what you do. Are you, are you allowed to tell me or are you not going to talk oh, about no, it? Oh, no, no, I, I can talk about it. Um, you don't have to be modest. If you've done well in life, it's nice to hear because it's nice for other people to hear because it's inspiring. We, 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 have, done, we have done very well. Okay. So, um, as we developed the exit strategy, we've been working on this for... About 12 years. Oh, what, your exit strategy has been 12 years? Uh, well, it was, all, it was always part of uh, when it was going to be. Right. Uh, it's let, let, letting go is, is just as important as, as holding on, isn't it? It, it was, but uh, it was 12 years in the making, and, you know, the market had to be right, um, which it was. And we were selling, really, a portfolio of companies and so it was... Uh, and they related? They were. They yeah. were very, very, very intertwined, but we did unbundle them, so to speak. Yes. In order to do the do two, do the deal. Do two different transactions. Yes, yeah. So we did uh, the first one in 2015. Yeah. And then the second one in 2017. And uh, like I say, it's, uh, it's been a... A very good run. Yeah. And I'm just not sure I'm ready to pull in the garage yet. Okay, Randy, I think we should just taper the sides in just slightly a bit more. Is that okay? Yes. Um, do you want a, a slightly cleaner line here or are you going to keep it softer and natural? I think a cleaner line. Okay. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay, so we're going to go in with the two and I'm going to open the two. I'm going to come in and we're going to really sharpen up that beard. I'm going to take away some of this. Now what happens is when you, when you, when you clipper a beard is that if you go in up and in, you'll take a lot of hair out. If you use the guard and tilt it away and just come down, what happens is then is that you only refine what you've got and you just, you can hear when you're taking hair off and you're, you're just going over and skimming the beard so you're not going in and taking hair out what you're doing is you're coming down with the flow and the and the growth of the pattern of the beard and it helps you just to control how much you take off because there's nothing worse than you know we've all done it moustaches and beards we've all gone in bought ourselves a pair of tripper, trimmers and clippers and the first thing you do is pick them up go straight in and then you've taken a big wedge out of your beard and Okay, we're going we're gonna to freshen up Randy's hairline here now. So I'm not cutting it into the hairline, we're just cleaning it up. 
I'm not cutting too far down. We're not cutting into the beard too far. We are literally just tidying up the lines. It's about being really mindful of like the growth, being really careful about looking at the pattern and where it is. It's a real common mistake to cut far too far into the beard. And then all you do is then you're constantly chasing the, the, the cleanup. So you're always every other day having to clean it, the beard somehow because you've cut too far in and just look up. That's it. Okay. So I just want you to look up and up a little bit for me. That is wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna come up. And we're just really cleaning that line. Tidy up the uh, what I call the uh, the eye moustaches, <laughs> which we did on Jack the other day, we, and Jack had a tiny little eyebrow trim, and it transformed the way his whole face looked. Didn't you have a fan club now specifically for the eyebrows, Jack? Someone made a YouTube channel. There you for go. My eyebrows. There you go. Okay. I'll be crushed to see that the eyebrows have been trimmed. Yeah, I'm gonna get hate mail now. Mm. Okay, so we're not cutting in any higher than this because that's where the hairline is. That's where the growth is, and if we cut any higher than that, then we're basically just cutting straight up in into the into the hairline. Okay. Now, your moustache is lovely, so I am just gonna just tidy the line on your lip. I'm going to put a tiny bit of old money in the beard because I'm going to just go through with the hairdryer as well. Smells good. Have you used old money before? I have. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I will say I, I, I liked the tea tree one, but actually I've got used to the old money one now. And I, mm -hmm. <laughs> If it's too warm, just let me know. No, it's great. There's a book in you, Randy. Maybe, maybe. How would we look? I think this looks really good. So you got, you have still got that little bit of wave in there, but that's fine. But we tapered it right in. Looks great. Kept the moustache. Tape of the hair, shaped it all around. I'm going to show you the back. Okay. So you look, you know, you look like you've, you know, you're you, you're a beardsman. You you still got your beard, but you also look like, you know, you can go to a meeting and, and look, you know, that you that you've looked after yourself and you're not just sort of just growing it out and nothing's happening. Right, right. Excellent. Happy. Looks perfect. Thank you, sir. Beardbrain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.